Today we are going to learn how to use multi-factor authentication on the recipient in the Trustify plugin. Multi-factor authentication is used to protect an email and requires the recipient to provide credentials to authenticate their identity. First, we will click Require Authentication. When you press on Show Advanced, you will get four options to choose from. First is by phone. Your recipient will receive a text message or a call with a code once they open the email. Second is a password. This can be something only you or the recipient knows of, and as you see, you can give them a hint as well. Next is through email. This is just like the one through the phone, just sent as a separate email. Last is by single sign-on, or SSO. This will give your recipient the ability to view the email by signing in with their Microsoft, Google, or Yahoo ID. Today we're going to be using a password, where the password is the name of the company. Then we're going to hit apply. Now we will proceed to add the content of the email, and if you need to add any documents, you can also do this to your protected email. Now let's check on what the recipient sees. We will first open the email and click on the blue button that says Authenticate to decrypt an open message. This will take us to a new secure browser window where we will type in the password provided by the hint. And now the recipient can view the message. It's that easy. Now we will look at what would happen if the recipient entered in the wrong password. They will receive three attempts before being blocked. The original sender will then get a notification that the recipient is blocked and can give access to the recipient in the Trustify plugin. This is as easy as clicking Unblock in the Tracking tab. Thank you for joining us at Trustify. Hit subscribe for future instructional videos and click on the side for more instructions like this. We will see you next time. Thank you.